advanced facilitation. Showing inroads is always going to be good. It's just cool. But how to make a game, a workshop, a demo great. How to lead to significant breakthroughs. So breakthroughs in what? Well, of course, the goal here is learning, building the capacity to take effective action within this complex system of climate, equity, land, forest, all these issues. So I really like the framework that Peter Senge shared with us of what are the core capacities for learning within a complex system such as this. And we're going to orient this module around his three-legged stool of the three main capacities. So capacity one, systems thinking, helping people understand all the interdependencies in the system, the time delays, the feedback processes, the accumulations that lead to some of these counterintuitive, interesting things that go on when you think about coal, oil, gas, methane and population and carbon removal and concentration, temperature, sea level rise. Improve people's capacity with systems thinking. The second one, vision. People check out. People have problems with resignation and despair. So the work of vision is to help people see what they really want, get clear about what we have, and see if we can use the gap between the two to drive effective action, mm -hmm. vision. The third is reflective conversation. How to create the conditions so people are even open to changing their mind and improving what we call their mental models about how this system behaves. It's a lot of work to making people open to learning. Those are the three legs of the stool. Along the way, we're also gonna address how to answer really tough questions and how to use something that we like as a framework called the truth sandwich. Advanced facilitation and roads. Here we go.